This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. You gotta like this 39 Ford. Now I normally do a normal uh, introduction, but I got a surprise for you on this one. I have Larry Anderson here from Boise, Idaho. I've known Larry for a number of years. Uh, he also sells and buys classic cars uh, like I do, and he's been doing it a long time, and he loves beautiful cars. That's what he's mainly had. I mean, his cars almost are always impeccable. And how long have we known one another? I mean, it's probably, been a lot of years. Yeah, probably 25 years since I've been in the business, yeah. So. I uh, met you, I think, down in Portland at one time, and we got to running into each other at all the car shows and auctions, and 25 years later, here we are. We've been doing it a long time, and, and Larry and I are good friends, so I, I really like Larry. We've, he's a great guy, and you, you, when he tells you something, that's just exactly what it is. Now, we're standing in front of this 1939 Ford right here. It's a street rod, and Larry bought this car California? I bought it up in uh, the Washington area, but it was built down in the uh, Dry Lakes area of California, and I bought it about 10 years ago. So you bought it, and then you sold it, didn't you? I sold it, and actually I took it in, tr I sold it, and then I took it back in trade on a 32 Ford Street Rod Coupe, and lo and behold, the gentleman who bought the 32 wanted to buy the 39 back, but I'd sold it again, <laughs> and and so I ended up with with uh, it after I took it back in trade on a 1934 Ford Coupe, and then I took it back again, and the guy wanted it back. <laughs> so here, so here it is. Uh, and and so then I uh, I come along. You said you wanted to sell it, so I uh, I stepped up and I says I want to buy it. And I remember uh, we 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 took the car actually I told him I said you got to deliver it to Seattle he says no he says I'll meet you halfway in Pendleton so he brought it in his trailer to Pendleton and I took my trailer to Pendleton and we swapped cars in Pendleton and uh, I haven't done a whole lot with it but it, I like this car it's fun to drive now, Larry, you've taken this thing on two different uh, tri-state cruises or so? Yeah, I go on an annual cruise with a group of about 100 other cars from Boise, and we usually drive a couple thousand miles each year. And uh, I, the gentleman I first sold it to took it on two of the cruises, and then I took it on the following two. And I had a lot of cars to drive at the time, but this was just such a good road car, and so I just opted for it. I needed the air conditioning, I needed the heater, and I loved the power steering and everything, so it just was a great road car. Made it just fine. It's probably got about 15,000 miles, road miles on it so far, trouble free. On the total car? Yeah, right, since it was built, yeah. And And so Tell me, do you remember all the history on this car, or do you remember, how is it set up? What what engine? Well, it's a 327 motor and a turbo 350 transmission. I sold it to a gentleman that put a new rear end in it that had real, real low gears for a highway use, so it flies down the road at 80 miles an hour. It's got a Mustang front suspension in it, General Motors uh, tilt wheel and power steering. It's got... Uh, under dash air conditioning uh, it is set up to drive it's an excellent driver car and it's all other interior too right right the interior's all done it's got brand new coker wide radial wide white radial tires on it with powder coated uh, wheels that were are probably have 3,000 miles on them since they were put on so other than that it's just all together and an excellent driving car so you put the the wheels on it uh, the one, the gentleman that I sold it to, but okay, it wheels, tires, and rear end on it, and a new radiator. So yeah, so. And I have to tell you, I've driven it, and it's it's a really nice driving car. So, and I'm I I have it for sale. So if you're real interested in it, contact us. Thanks, Larry. Okay, you're welcome, Jerry. These '39 Ford coupes have great uh, lines on them, and everything on this car is really nice now it's not going to be perfect because it's it's about uh, 
got, what is it, 15 years old on here. It's got about 15,000 miles on it. Gas cap's got a, a, a magnet underneath here to lift up. And it's got one of those caps you just stick your nozzle into so you don't have to take it off. I mean, everything looks beautiful on here. It's got these deep dish wheels on here uh, that go way in, and they're not so deep on the front. So I'm just looking here. I mean, everything, it looks really nice. I wish it was a brighter day, but we're starting to get snowflakes coming down right now. You know, I just, uh, oh, that was just wiped off. There's a little chip right there. Well, oh, some of this stuff is just pieces in there. I mean, the reflection in the, in the paint is really, really good. This, this has got nice paint on it. They did a really nice job on it. And of course, you can open this up and the window uh, rolls up good. And of course, this has got the neat feature here that's all closed there and you back it off. This is your vent win wing in here, like, and then it'll, then it'll open up so you can kind of have vent wings on these things. And uh, everything else looks good. It just closes nice. I mean, you're not going to find many 39s any nicer than this. And it's not a, it, it looks show, it's not a show car because it's been around a long time. To be a show car, they need to be a trailer queen with no miles on it. But this is a really good driving car. And everything looks good. I mean, there's, it could be dusted a little bit more. As you can see, these wheels are not as deep in there. But, God, it's just gorgeous. Now this chrome, the bumper here is all beautiful, nice. This all looks real good. Chrome brackets too on here. Look at these headlights, aren't they beautiful? And there's Ford headlights on here. Now I gotta tell you something on this car, and I just, if you get in the right light, you might see it. At one time, there was flames on here. Larry did not like them. So Larry had this refinished, but I can see it. If you just get a little bit of an angle, you can pick it up and nobody notices it. I mean, this is, all this is real nice through here. Now to open the hood, you just reach right here, pull out on that, lift up, and there's a safety catch under, right underneath there. And you just lift up. See, this is your safety uh, catch right there. And of course, this gives you a chance to see this beautiful, uh, engine in here. We have air. We have a chrome alternator. We've got the uh, big four barrel carburetor on there. It's an Eldebrock. Uh, I mean, this engine's polished and, you know, the polished covers on here. Power steering. Uh, the Vintag is right down there on the frame. It's a Washington Vintag on there. You can see how nice all this looks and everything. We've got an expansion tank right here. And I mean, yeah, we could polish it up a little bit. It, we haven't touched it lately or anything else. I've driven it a bit. Not enough. I like driving it. But you can see everything looks good. It's just a nicely finished, very clean uh, engine and er, compartment. And of course, just to close this, you just come back down, close, and then push this down. And that's down. That's a woody hair right there. I mean, all the rest of this looks really good in here. Uh, this piece here, down at the bottom down there, when we were unloading it, it caught on the trailer at the very tip. This thing's low on the front end, and so this piece is brand new here. One of the things nice, you can get a lot of uh, parts for these cars. It's beautiful. Passenger side on this uh, 39 is just like the whole car. It's beautiful. There's, I don't... Uh, Every time I thought I see a spot, it wipes right off. Of course, you got the wheels on here, and uh, I just a just a really nice car. There's a little chipping along right under here on the edge right there. That's and there's a little bit of a spot right there. I mean, you got to have something on here to look at and show you, because everything else looks really really good. All the chrome windshield frame around here looks good. Now. We, there are some spots along here that I, I don't think I ever noticed or paid any attention to and they might even steal wool off because it's just you, it's not noticeable until you really look at it close. Again, this, the rubber mats on here look good. These doors, they open and close good. Again, the window, you can see right here we have the vent 
and they they crank up and they work just fine. Door closes great. I mean, it, this this car is just really, really good. It's an exceptional car. Now you may may or may not like these wheels on here. I, at first, I didn't care for them too much. The, I know maybe it's the red on there, but they've grown on me. I like this slope. All this looks all good across here. Everything looks good. Again, every time I see something I think is a spot, it wipes right off. So I'm trying to show you everything, and everything looks great. The back end of this car is just like the rest of it. All this is all beautiful. It's, all is clean and nice. We got a little snowflakes landing on here. There's not much, but it's it is coming down. All the chrome across here. I love these uh, exhaust tips on here, and I love the way this thing sounds. And look at this big handle set up on here for the, the trunk, and that's the uh, that's your lock right there for your trunk, and your light for the deal, and it, it just opens up. Now this is uh, it had hinges on it at one time or another. In fact, right here. If you, if you look right here, you can see that where it's it's still not painted black, but they put these rods on here so that trunk goes up. And you can see you got a lot of room and it's all carpeted in here. I don't know if we can see much on this side. Well, you can't you can't see much. There's a little bit of floor pan. I'll get a we'll get a close up of that for you so you can see it a little better. Now one of the First places I always look on these cars when I get one is the tool uh, box right here. It's where the jack goes and everything. And uh, I can pull these out. I think I can get it out of here. There we go. Anyway, this is just as solid as it can be. I mean, it's real metal. It's just like it came from the factory. It's not rusted or anything. It's all in great shape. So that just gives you an idea how, how good that is. And of course this thing just closes back down just that nice. I mean, look at this thing. It's just beautiful. It, you, you're not going to get a nicer 39. Now, this is leather. I mean, isn't that nice? I mean, a lot of these guys put vinyl in. They put cloth in. This has got leather. I mean, you, I, maybe you can't hear that, but... I can get it to squeak a little bit. I mean, it just it's just beautiful. It's very comfortable. It sets good. It's not, yeah, it's firm like you want it. Look here, this uh, interior here, we got a tilt wheel on here uh, with spoke wheel and the gauges, of course. You got uh, the classic instrument gauges on here uh, on both sides. And we got uh, under the dash uh, air here. Uh, and I mean, all this looks. I mean, it's beautiful, and I don't remember if this thing works or not, and I'm not going to force it. So it seems like it opens. As you can see, it's got a leather steering wheel on here, uh, a Grant steering wheel, and, a, and this has got a uh, Chevy column in it with a tilt set up on it. We got classic instruments on here. They look beautiful. Shows 15,867 miles on it at this point in time. And of course, you can see how beautiful all this is across here. This knob here opens the, the window, not very much, but it opens it just a little bit so you can get a little area in there that way. Uh, the glove box is right here and you got to use the key on it, as I remember right. So there's, there is no glove box because you got air conditioning in here. So it takes up all the room. <laughs> Might be able to put something back there. Uh, of course you got a clock here and I think this is a wind up clock. I don't know if it works or not. I haven't paid much attention to it. I mean, these these stock uh, levers for the wipers and the well, uh, wipers are up here, but for the lights and stuff are all right there. And of course, you can see we've got the air conditioner on here. I mean, this is just really set up nice. You can see how beautiful all this is. It's just as clean and nice as can be. And again, here's the. You got a Vintag here, Washington State Patrol Vintag. So you got a tag on the frame and on the body. And you can see the carpets in here is uh, real nice and it just clean. And these kick panels in here are real good too. I mean, you can look at this and you can just see how clean and nice this is. Everything looks great. 
door panels all look good. All the top door here looks good. These door jams right there look real good. I mean, you just, this whole car is just, it's a nice car. The battery is behind the spare, and of course this is the radio right here you're looking at, and you just so you can see all this. And this, is, of course, is, this goes, sets in there like that and finishes it off. Now it's probably pretty hard to see this on a dark day in black, but it's got a beautiful cloth headliner in it, and it's all good everywhere. You can just see how this is all nice and clean, and the radio is back there. And I've never—I don't know if the radio even works, but I'm sure it does. Now let's take a look and see how this air works. This is the temperature control, so we turn it over there, and this is the fan control. And you can hear it uh, going, and you should have seen it turn on up up front. I think it blows cold, but you know, it's cold outside, so I I can't give you as good a reading as if it was in the summertime and 80 degrees outside, but you can see it blows cold. I just shut that off, bring that back down. Now, we turned that off, so now you're a little bit, uh, you're cold and you want to be warm. Well, this is the heater right here. So here, here's the heat, and this is the switch up here, right? right here's the on and off lower switch. Look at there, boy, now it's blowing. How's that, 122, 124, 130, 131. You can see that the heater is working good too. And also note, I wound the clock and it's working. I just wanted to show you that the gauges work. Uh, you can see that the oil pressure gauge goes up and uh, everything's working fine. Okay, let's check out the lights. There's the park lights, there's the headlights. The dimmer switch is way up tight next to the uh, uh, steering column and I got big feet, it's hard to get in there. There's your left turn signal, your right turn signal, your horn and it's got two speed wiper on it there's one single speed and there's the faster one okay there's your lights brake lights left turn signal right turn signal I look underneath this 39 Ford and I'm totally impressed with the condition of the underside. I mean, you can see how clean it is and everything, like these spring shackles here and everything. All this is all just real nice. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the spring shackles, it's got the blocks under here. It's all, all this stuff is just really clean. Look at this rear end. It, it's shiny and nice and clean. This whole rear end looks good. You know, and just carrying on with everything on here, this exhaust system has got flow masters on both sides. And again, all this stuff is just really clean. All the floor pans all the way up here will all look real good. Now I look, you know, a lot of people always worry about frame and stuff where there's rust in it. I guarantee you, you will be totally happy with the frame on this. This frame is all clean and nice. Everything looks good. This is a close to a rust-free car as you're going to find. I mean, look at these floor pans, how nice they are and clean and, and everything. The running boards all look good. Everything on both sides look really good. You can see the antenna right there for the radio underneath the running board. That's the way they did it way back in the good old days. And again, you can see all this is good and solid. Everything looks great. I, I, don't, I don't have anything bad to show you. I mean, the floor pans all look great. You can see right here is the master cylinder and its power for the disc brakes on the front. Of course, it's a split brake system. And you can see, I mean, they had to notch it here a little bit for the transmission to put the automatic in here. Everything looks 
great under these floor pans. All look super good here too. Now this is a 327 engine with a uh, 350 turbo automatic behind it. So and this all looks good. And you can see we got it's got the small high high torque st starter in there. I want to tell you I, I look at this car and it's really well done. And these people call them and say, oh, I can buy one for less money. Well, you can buy a lot of stuff for a lot less money, but is it done as well, as nice as what this car is? And the answer is, you probably not. Sure, you can find show cars that are done as nice, but this is a driver car, and it's just really nice. And you can tell it's been taken care of, because it's got about 15,000 miles on it, I think, and since it was done, and... My friend Larry Anderson, he put uh, 3,500 miles or better on this car, maybe 4,000 miles, taking it on two uh, uh, tri-state uh, tours. You can see the front end underneath here is good and solid and set up nice. It's got the rack and pinion steering in here, with, and it's power steering, so it just, this thing just drives really nice. It's, it's a fun car to drive. Uh, it, and it, again, I just can't emphasize enough, how well done this car is. Now you can hear this 327 run. Again, we were having snow a little bit ago. That's just condensation. I haven't driven this car as much as I should. It's, it's a nice car. Well, we're going up on the freeway now, so you can take a look at it. Just see how nice this thing is. Step on it here so you can see it go. It's very comfortable to drive. I got to tell you that it just it sits good. You know, some of these things don't feel good and comfortable, but this thing feels good. It's comfortable. It's, it's well set up. I'll step on it again. Now we'll give you a chance to see this going down the on the uh, passenger side of this rig. See how you like it. Gotta admit it sounds neat too. I hope you enjoyed this uh, drive and got a chance to see how this thing feels. I got cars coming everywhere. Always the case in them. You know you'll find a lot of 40s, but you don't find a lot of 39s. And I think they're nicer looking. I, I don't know. I, there's not a whole lot of difference in them. Uh, there's a few things here and there. Well, we're back to Dragers, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, short seven mile drive to see how <clears throat> well this uh, 39 uh, works and goes down the road. I gotta tell you it's a beautiful car. It runs and drives great and we'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. Give us a call at 206-533-9600.
I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. Doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.